Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And last time we found the ancient computer, which told us to go up to the roof. Or like, to the upper floors or something. Because that's where the disruptor field is. And speaking of the disruptor field, I've, I've kind of been thinking about it. Like, between recordings. And I found it doesn't really make much sense once you start thinking about it. Oh, there's, there's a droid friend again. Hey, buddy. But yeah, like, it, it doesn't really make much sense. It's like, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing you're supposed to assume that the disruptor field protects the whole planet, right? Oh, there's a door I missed. No problem. Got it. Oh, hello. Let's see what you got. You're not allowed to save. Come on. Okay. But yeah, like, I'm assuming you're supposed to assume that this, the disruptor field protects the whole planet. Um, for one, that seems incredibly unfeasible. That one one generator thing would protect the entire planet and the Starforge system. Oh. Okay, so that's why the patrol droids weren't active. But yeah, it seems very unfeasible that it would be, be protecting the entire planet. And, um, two, it seems incredibly impractical that, like, the entire planet's defense grid would be protected by, like, a, a single console. There's a lot of things I missed. So it's like, if, if one person infiltrated this temple, or something, like they'd be able to turn off the entire planetary defense grid and the Star Forge. So yeah, like incredibly infeasible and impractical if it protects the whole planet. Um, so like what if it protects only a part of the planet then? Like it only protects like a quarter of the hemisphere or something? How do I get to, up to the roof? Do I go outside? I mean, I, I guess so. Or this way? Okay, here we go. Julie, every goddamn time. Anyways, continuing with my, my ranting. Yeah. So what if it only protects like a quarter of the hemisphere? And like the Star Forge? Well then, like, what would happen if people came around the other side of the planet. Because, like, y you notice around where we landed, it's like... There's like 500 different ships that crash-landed, so it, it seems feasible to assume that, you know, people came around the other side of the planet, eventually. So, like, what if they just landed left? Like, then the planet would be discovered. So, like, what if this... Why are these things looted already? Who got here before me? Oh, okay. It was just the one, the one container. It's like, what if it's just like one part of several? Wait a second. I think I might have to continue my story in a little moment. I also need to switch over to Cassus Fett's pistol. There we go. And you top off all our health, dude. Thank sure. you. Oh. Oh dear, Bastila. Hello. But well, you have a red lightsaber now. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bastila, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Uh, a pawn of the Jedi Council? What are you talking about? Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. 
the same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared, but in reality their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi uh, have been no. using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Okay, for one, they didn't want us to join into the Mandalorian Wars because they, they saw, like, the bigger picture. Like, there were things going on beyond the Mandalorian Wars. So, you know. Um, I forget what you even said then. It's either you say cliche dialogue or you be a complete jackass. What great choices. It's not too late, Basila. You can still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. You seem like a little, like, kid. <laughs> just in this mentality, it's like, they're just jealous of my power. Yeah. Like an emo teenager or something. Don't be lured in by these Sith lies, Bastila. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve, like I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. You know what, um, Malak couldn't kill kill me, so I don't know what you think your chances are. Like, honestly. Uh, use Master Valor. It's all just buff up, just in case. Oh, and by the way, I took on Malak by myself. I didn't have a party of Jedi yes. with me. So again, I, I don't know what, you, what chance you think you have. Really? That's all? You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. Uh, no. I just, I just buffed myself a bunch. I draw my power from the light now, Bastila. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I've seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That is how I know you will come back to the light. <laughs> I'm sorry, these choices are just, like, so cliché. Oh, God. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You're speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Starforge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. 
your dark side. So, like, I don't understand why, like, the only choice for not being a Jedi is to, like, go to the other extreme and be a Sith. I mean, like, look at Jolie over here. He's like, oh, fuck both sides. And, you know, he's a pretty cool dude. Like, really? Like, you can revoke the Jedi ways without being a complete asshole, really. Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. <laughs> They're doing like a Darth Vader thing. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Oh, and by the way, like, this is like a turning point. Like... If you if you decide to just randomly be an asshole and join Vassal, you can kill like all of your old team members, and like get the dark side ending. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm a nice guy. Turn away from this path, Bastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side that is yours mean. to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. How many times do I have to say no? I, I guess this is the developers telling you, like, yes, you can do this if you really want to. They give you like five chances to to say yes. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. So you just admitted that Oh, nice ship, by the way. So you just admitted that, like, you can't beat me, and that Malak can't beat me? Like, I, I don't understand what your logic is now. So that was interesting. Uh, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, I was talking about the, um, the disruptor field. So, like, what if the disruptor field was, like, one part of a larger system. Like, this one protected a quarter of the hemisphere, and then, like, three others protected the rest of the planet? Well, it's like, what if, like, the galaxy rotated? And, like, so that one of the other disruptor fields... Oh, no. It says right here, shut down planetary disruptor fields, so we are supposed to assume that it... Oh, wait, no, maybe that's just the name for it. Oh. But yeah, like, what if, like, this was just, like, one part of a larger system, but it's like, what if the planet rotated so that one of the other generators picked up the slack around the Star Forge? You know, it's like, then you'd only have, like, a limited time period for the the Republic fleet to do their, do their work. And spoilers, like, there's no time limit, so it's like, you know, that's that's probably not true. So it's like any way you look at it, it's like the um the planetary disruptor field doesn't really make sense. But I guess like you're not really supposed to think about it that far into it, you know? It's like the Death Star, really. You know, the Death Star is like this huge impractical 
thing once you think about it, but it's cool because it works for like its intended story. Just like this disruptor feel, it's just a storytelling device. So, yeah, whatever. This is just one of those things. One of those things that like I I guess I already said it, like it 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 works, but once you start thinking about it, it sort of falls apart under the weight of logic. Again, you know, like just like the Death Star. So we're heading back to the Enclave now. We have like the information regarding these people's genetic history. And also we shut down the planetary disruptor field. I guess these people don't really have anything to help us. Like we already have the parts for our ship so that we can leave now if we wanted to, but well, hey, I'm not revving anymore, so, you know, shut the hell up. Not exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Not exactly. I have to go to the Starforge to stop Malik. Yeah, maybe, dude. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool to see, like, another race, sort of, traversing the galaxy. Maybe you could, go, you could go to, like, all the different planets, like the Selkath planet, sort of apologize to them for, like, abusing their ancestors. I'm sure the galaxy will welcome you with open arms. How is it feeding his power? I thought that the Star Forge was like a black hole of force energy. It like sucked up all the force energy. Like wouldn't it make him weaker? I don't know. So where's this where's this guy? Okay, it doesn't say on our map. Trying to find like the the genetics research guy, because I have some infor information for him before I leave to head for the Star Forge. Because it, it's pretty pretty cool to see these guys like sort of gain their force ability back. Uh, he was around here. It was like some dude who had a name. What the hell is this guy? Did he like walk somewhere else? Is it this guy? Elder researcher? Where did you disappear to, dude? Now is not the best time to be, ta be taking a bathroom break. Alright, seriously, where is this guy? If I can't find him, I'll just fast forward until I do. Here he is. What the hell are you doing all the way over here, dude? Well, yes, there is something you can help me with. And by that, I mean I can help you. I found data on the genetic structure of your species. Hey, it's no problem, dude. It'd be pretty cool to see some of you guys in the Jedi Order, or something like that. Alright, cool. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't think quest experience applies to our friends. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, now that that's done, I guess we'll go ahead and head back to our ship. You don't really need to see me walking there, so I'll, I'll just fast forward. Gizka! 
The guys are so cute and adorable. I if I had, like, if there exists, like, a Gizka plushie, I would so own one. <laughs> I, I don't care if I take a hit to the manliness, because they're just too adorable. Oh, hello. I'm assuming you fixed the ship while I was gone. God damn it, Jolie. Always Back. lagging behind. Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Oh, she's alive, alright. I guess this is like where you would like fight everyone if you turn dark side. But you would have like Jolie and uh Juhani away from you. You probably have like Bastila. <laughs> Bastila is dead, Karth. No. Like pulling an Obi Wan. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Star Forge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be saved, can't she? Malik has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Technically, I didn't reject the dark side. I was kind of made to not be part of the dark side anymore, forcibly. Yeah. But, you know, we're, we're good people, so, you know, we'll try anyways. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go, then, before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Well, all right then.